Hold on to your hat, my friend. These internet users came across some hauntingly spooky stuff IRL, but I'm guessing you'll want to stay away even from these pics. Picture this. You're boarded and ready for takeoff in a huge Boeing jet. It's your first time on an airplane. You were scared, but people kept telling you it was safe. You've convinced yourself it would be alright when the pilot comes on the speaker with some disturbing news. Good morning, folks! Our flight has been cancelled for safety reasons. It appears that a cloud of bees is hovering close to one of our wings, and we'll have to remove them before takeoff. I have to say, this is a first. I have to say, I'd like to get off, please. Now let's say you always take the long way to work. It's one of your favorite bits of the day because you can enjoy a peaceful walk surrounded by beautiful scenery. You're passing across a muddy pond area, like you normally do, when something strange catches your attention. What on earth could that be, you ask yourself? Apparently, it's a colony of reddish worms, just casually existing. I think my stomach just turned a little. Have you ever backpacked anywhere around the world? If you have, then you were probably worried about one thing and one thing only – bed bugs. Getting into a new hostel, the typical routine is to check your mattresses. The worst thing is to sleep in a bed filled with these little creatures and then have to wash all your clothing the next morning just so you won't pass this around to other establishments. If you ask me, this appears like a bed bug and sci-fi beetle had a fight in this person's bed and this is what was left. Well, jokes aside, it reminds me of the remains of some bug. Which bug? I have no idea. I'd tell this woman and all hostel owners to use some kind of mattress protector, just so that backpackers all over the world can stop sweating so much over these tiny creatures. Now, you've just won an all-inclusive trip to Hawaii. Ah, the white sandy beaches and the amazing sunsets. You're happy to leave your fancy hotel and take long walks on the beach. But wait, what's that? It appears like a lobster shed its tail and the remains came floating all the way to the sand. But according to experts, that's not a lobster. They wouldn't shed just their tail. That appears to be some kind of isopod. Isopods are crustaceans that look somewhere between shrimps and lobsters. That's why you thought it was a lobster, huh? They also look like giant roly-polies. Do you know what these are? Someone had a roly-poly infestation in their house, and uh uh-oh, it does not look like something you want to have to deal with. Imagine spending your days hunting these tiny creatures all over your furniture. No thanks. Now, when I was a kid, I loved playing pranks on people. But I would be the first one to be completely spooked when someone played a prank on me. I'm guessing the person who ran into this thing on their office wall wasn't too pleasant. But hey, maybe it's karma, right? What goes around comes straight back around. Imagine it's a sunny Sunday morning, and you went on a hike with your best friends. You hiked up a pretty steep mountain covered in knee-high vegetation. You know what that means, right? Bugs. The great thing about bugs is that they never cease to amaze you. There are endless varieties of extremely rare and never-before-seen bizarre bugs. The first one you met was this thing right here. It fell off your dog's back. It resembles a jackfruit seed mated with a spider, and this is what came out of that union. Hopefully, it's just a bizarre insect and not threatening in any way. Your sock also picked up a few buddies along the way. Look at the number of ticks your sock protected you from. The next time you go on a hike like this one, you should take some kind of bug repellent with you. But a strong and effective one. You know, like an ultrasonic repellent that disorients ticks, so they'll never find a way to your juicy socks. And speaking of bugs, quick test here to find out if you're the type of person that loves or loathes the great outdoors. Imagine it's early in the morning, and you just woke up in a remote house found deep inside a forest. You step outside, and the first thing you see on the porch is a snake casually passing by. Would you take a selfie with it, or close the doors and hide back in your covers as fast as humanly possible? Or maybe you just woke up, opened the door to the outside world, and got to be the sole witness of a bug molting. Would you shed a happy tear, or be disgusted by it? I mean, look at it. 
It seems like a baby Pokemon. So cute. Ah, it's summertime. My favorite time of the year. You can enjoy the pool until late in the evening and meet your friends and family for a Sunday outdoor picnic. But there's one thing that really annoys me. Bees. Eating outdoors usually means having to share some of your juice or yummy food with a bunch of bees. If only some genius person invented something that kept bees away from our food. Like some ultrasonic frequency we could blast on our speakers. Or some kind of decoy nest that was more interesting to the bees than my picnic food. Oh, or maybe this. I guess this will do. Simple but effective. I'll try it out and tell you if it worked out for me. The best thing after a hard day's work is coming home. Except when you're welcomed by this thing. I mean, how did this spider even get here if you live in a city apartment miles away from any real greenery? That's a mystery I'll never solve. You take your 5-year-old to play in the local park. She's in a digging phase, so as soon as she gets there, she starts digging up the whole place like a Jack Russell Terrier. You watch her have buckets of fun when suddenly you spot a shiny blue thing crawling out of the hole. What on earth? You think to yourself. You grab it with a stick and it reveals itself. A centipede. You know, the things that burn you with their venomous legs. Best to put it back in the hole and move to another park. If you could choose any movie or TV series to live inside of, which one would you choose? Most likely some cozy rom-com, right? I'm guessing no one, or almost no one here, would choose to live life as a Last of Us character, right? But it seems to me like this person had a Joel moment, if you ask me. This thing crawling out of the forest floor is a fungus that imitates a human hand. I mean, does life imitate art, or is it really just one giant messy blob? Remember when we talked about backpackers? Well, this person had a similar problem as they do. Apparently, they took a bunch of clothes to wash and dry, and this is what the dryer filter looked like afterward. There are maybe a hundred little buddies in there. Ooh. Out of curiosity, do you know why they're called bed bugs if they hide on the floor and not in your bed? They crawl up to someone's bed at nighttime because they can sense carbon dioxide emissions, also known as they can sense your breath. If this isn't a horror movie plot, I'm not sure what is. Hmm, where do I even start with this one? I'd say this piece was actually a prop from a Tim Burton movie that somehow got lost and ended up in your vegetable basket. It's supposed to be a yam, but it's shaped like Grinch's hand if he were white instead of green. Oh my, in my wildest dreams, I couldn't make this stuff up. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.